Okay, last time I just very briefly went over how to create a very quick scenario. This time, let's add on a little more stuff. So we're going to lay down two tracks. I'm going to snap to terrain, snap to existing track. And we're going to use yard generic for this. Alright, so, whoops, let's change this to a yard line. That makes us able to do more interesting curves. Okay, now I'm going to change it back to main. And we'll do a nice tight curve like that. All right. Okay, let's join those two pieces of track together. Use the weld, hit the gray box, hit the gray box, and we have one long piece of track. Lovely. All right. I'm not going to worry about that gap. I'm just going to create a platform now. So let's do a different kind of platform. So we're going to select platforms. We're still in linear object mode. So I'm going to select platform, and I'm going to select, again, since I'm from England, I'm going to select a 7.6, change it to 1. A UK 7.6, 70s. And then line it up with the track as best as we can. In fact, I'm just going to lay it on top of the track like this. This way I can follow the curvature of the track almost exactly. Hit the apply button. Hold down. And drag to the side. Oh, need a little more. Just a little more. Alright. And now we have our curved platform. Look at that. Very pretty. Um, let's go ahead and put a taper on it, just to make it look finished. I'm just going to do it on this end, though. So, we're going to need to switch to this. I forgot about that. Platform objects. Where's taper? It's here somewhere. There it is! UK1 taper. Spin her around. Ah. I'm just going to lift it up so it moves the platform slightly. Put it down again. Bring it forward. There. doesn't look too pretty, but it will work for the moment. It's just a very quick, this is what you can do. So, now we have a curving track with a curving platform. Let's make the platform a little more interesting and put some buildings on it, shall we? So let's just take UK generic one. We can rotate it slightly. We'll lift her up. Onto the platform, lower it down. Oh, yeah. there. Now we have a very quick box office. All right, now we got that done. We need a junction because we've got this piece of track here that doesn't go anywhere. So let's go back to linear. I'm going to go to. I'm going to make sure snap to track is turned on. Otherwise, this doesn't work too well. We'll pick uh, yard generic. Change this to yard line. Click there. Bend it round. Let go. Now we need to add another piece. 
See how it just snapped onto that track there? There's our join. Not too shabby. All right, we've got our station in place. We got a little building on it. It's all sat on a curve. We got our track. Let's uh, let's give it a whirl. Give her some gas. Get her moving. We're just going to come off the uh, siding here and pick up the passengers and that's it. Just to show you what's going on with this track and this platform. Because we use a different way of creating the platform, it's already got the people on it because we use the linear object method. I'm going to bring my speed down a little bit. Because I don't want to derail on this junction here. Now when you get used to all the uh, all the layout and everything, you can start placing signals, get all the signaling working properly. Well, once the signal is working properly, you can get it to go. So let's hit the brake. We'll change the switch behind me. Shift G. We are. There we go. See how the blue line has shifted? Let's go back to the screen. Put it in reverse. Give her some gas. And we're just going to back up to the platform, and that'll be it. I have to excuse the bell in the background. My parrot's feeling fussy. So G will change the next switch in front of you and Shift G will change the next switch behind you. And it's always based on the orientation of the train, not which direction you're traveling. So we'll just back up to the platform here. And there you have it. All done. Pretty easy. And if you wanted to be able to pick the passengers up, again, you'd have to put down that platform marker on the track that we did in the last tutorial. So there you go. Curve track, curve platform. Simple switch. Have fun.